Hello and welcome to The Voice of Todd. I'm Tom and today uh, we're going to start today off real easy. I've just got up, I've just made a brew, it's sitting in the pot, just... I mean it's not percolating because it's a cafetiere but you know what I mean. And I was going through the news. Now I know that there is bigger things to talk about but this one just had me in hysterics so I thought I'd share. I don't know if I'm allowed to share, I don't see why not. Uh, but we are here on The Gamer, link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. And this just shows you that you should really be embracing the digital age, even if it is more expensive, with this precautionary tale. Escaped prisoner caught by police after breaking quarantine for Call of Duty. A prison escapee in Britain was caught because he couldn't go without the new Call of Duty. This was by Sean Murray. Uh, Sean, you've, this is wonderfully written. Uh, I absolutely loved it. So that's our guy. That's Clint Butler. He's 36 apparently, and he's a formerly escaped convict who's only recently been returned to prison thanks to his undying love for the Call of Duty franchise. Butler wanted Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War so badly that he broke Britain's quarantine rules just to wander down the store, only to be confronted by police officers before he could get there. The whole confrontation was uh, recently published online by West Midlands Police. Butler can be seen briefly speaking to constables Mark Owen and Alison Brown, providing a false name and telling them that he'd come to get the new Call of Duty because he didn't want to sit around in lockdown. Totally understandable, and a very reasonable request. After being informed by Constable Owen that he'd broken the rules and was going to be searched, they must have had a reason to think that they needed to search him, because just breaking the rules doesn't make sense. So they're obviously, this isn't the full story folks, but after being told he was going to be searched, Butler kicked Owen in the groin and tried to make a break for it. He might have gotten away with it, but it was a cold and icy day in Birmingham on January the 13th. Uh, so, UK had been in lockdown for about two weeks at this point, so everything was closed anyway, um, when the confrontation took place. Butler slipped and fell immediately after booting Owen in the Jubilees, that's your bollocks. And he was tackled by Brown and then pepper sprayed before being uh, finally being cuffed with the help of two nearby security guards. So, I mean, Butler was trying to get away. You've got to give him that. He tried. <laughs> Butler has been serving a 17-year sentence in HMP Spring Hill Open Prison in Buckinghamshire for armed robbery. He was due out in 2024, but instead escaped in November the 28th, 2020, and a warrant had been issued for his arrest. So he'd been out for less than two months. In addition to serving out the rest of his sentence, Butler has been jailed for an additional 13 months for escaping prison and another six for assaulting an officer. That's probably the wrong way around. I don't know why it's only six months for assaulting an officer, but it's 13 months for breaking out of prison. Like, assault, there's gotta be more than six months, right? I don't understand our legal system. Quite why he decided to risk being returned to prison by making the idiotic decision to come into town during lockdown with a friend to buy a video game will remain a bit of a mystery, noted Superintendent Nick Rowe in a statement. There's no mystery there. The dude just really wanted to play Call of Duty. The real mystery is why he didn't just download it like everyone else. <laughs> oh, always download your games, folks. Wait for them to come on sale and download them cheap. That's my uh, that's my top tip. Although I used to do that because my my old Xbox One the disc drive broke a couple of years back, uh, so I couldn't do anything with it. But I could still play what what was downloaded. So I just downloaded everything. But now I've got a, a new console. Uh, discs, yeah, discs are nice. Discs are nice, and they're much cheaper than downloading for some reason. Um, but there you have it. Uh, a real quick story about Clint Butler, who has been returned to prison with an additional 19 month sentence because he needed to play Call of Duty. Um, just a bit of fun today. This this is where we're starting. I've got a few other things I want to do. Um, we are going to be streaming in a bit as well, but I need coffee and a shower first. 
So uh, keep an eye on my Twitter for when I'll be going live on Twitch. We're going to be playing some Mass Effect 2 because it's been far too long and, and I've got an itching to get back to Miranda. So um, join me for that if you, you've seen this and you're around. It'll be later on, a couple of hours time. Um, I need to just get get sorted and properly wake up and then we'll do that. Um, but yeah, uh, what a guy. I mean, I know why he didn't download it, because he probably doesn't have a bank account. His friend could have done it for him. It sounds like his friend stitched him up there. <laughs> oh, but a bit of fun. You need a bit of fun sometimes. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the stream. And if not, I'll see you in the next one.